personal trainer here at fit for you and today I want to talk to you guys about your target heart rate zone. What is your target heart rate zone? Your target heart rate zone is going to be 65 to 80 percent of your maximum heart rate. So how do you figure out your maximum heart rate? Well, here's what you do. You take the number 220 and you subtract your age from 220. So in my case I'm going to take 220 minus 32 it gives me 188. That's my maximum heart rate, in theory. So if I want 65% of my max heart rate, I'm going to take 188 and multiply that by 0.65, and that's going to give me 122. If I want 80% of my maximum heart rate, I'm going to do the same thing. Take 188 and multiply it by 80, or excuse me, 0.8, and that's going to give me 150. So my target heart range is going to be 122 to 150. Now what do these two numbers represent? Well, I'm going to use a couple different examples here of a couple different athletes. First one I'm going to say is a bodybuilder. When you have a bodybuilder, his goal is to have maximum muscle mass and minimal body fat. Now he's going to peel away most of his body fat through diet and nutrition. But to put those finishing touches on it, cardio is recommended. Now for a bodybuilder, when he's trying to keep mu maximum muscle mass, he doesn't want to do real fast paced cardio. He's going to want to be down here in the 60 to 70 percent of his maximum heart rate. Now you take another athlete, like a guy that's going to ride in the Iceman Cometh. It's a bike race from Kalkaska to Traverse City. He's literally going to be in an all out sprint from Kalkaska to Traverse City. So his goal is he's going to want to train his cardio in the higher zone, in the 80 to 90 percent range. He's going to train his heart and his lungs to deliver the blood and oxygen to simulate his race from Kalkaska to Traverse City. So you have to figure out what your goals are and that will determine how fast you should do your cardio. And Once again, if you guys don't know, that's what I'm here for, that's what we're all here for, ask one of us. So when is the best time to do your cardio? Well, if you guys have life going on like I do, you do it when you can. The most effective time to do it is going to be right after a workout. The reason for that is when you are working out weight training, your metabolism is spiked and you, be, you deplete the glycogen stores out of your muscle. The next thing in line is going to be the body fat. Your body's going to burn more body fat sooner after a workout if you do your cardio after a workout. So take advantage of um, what they call post-workout cardio. So once again guys, I'm Luke, a trainer here at fit for you and if you guys see this and you like it, let me know. If you don't, let me know. Give me some feedback on this and let me know what you think. Have a good day.